you need to consider this if you want to get the latest MacBook Pros with the latest Thunderbolt 5 ports. The latest MacBook Pro lineup has insane upgrades coming from last year's generation. However, I found a really annoying flaw in the current system, specifically with the Thunderbolt 5 ports and the way it works with portable monitors. About a few weeks ago, I bought the Arzopa Z1RC. It's a 16-inch portable monitor, which I purchased to expand the screen real estate of my MacBook. But when I first tested it by plugging it to my MacBook Pro using one USB-C cable, the screen won't work. It powers it, but doesn't seem to send signal. I tried plugging it in to the other ports. Still, there's no signal. I also swapped the included USB-C cable with a Thunderbolt 5 cable, which I have. Still, there's no signal. However, when I plugged it in to an older MacBook Pro M1, the screen worked flawlessly with a single USB-C. So I did some research. Turns out there's an existing issue with power delivery and signal output with the latest Thunderbolt 5 to devices that don't support this new technology. That means devices that are not Thunderbolt 5 ready, like this Arzopa Z1RC, won't be able to receive signal and power with one cable from a Thunderbolt 5 device, like my MacBook Pro. The device still works though. If I use two USB-Cs, one for power and one for signal, or one USB-C and an HDMI cable. You can also plug the other USB-C directly to a wall outlet to get the monitor power and at the same time charge your laptop. But yeah, you still have to use two cables which can be pretty annoying. And that is why 